my loves. How is everyone doing? Fine, I hope. Okay, guys, if you are new here, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you tuned in. If you are a returning subscriber, already a part of the Diva family, welcome back, loves. Okay, guys, so today's video, I will be decorating my fireplace using non-traditional colors. And I thought I would just bring you guys along. So if you needed any inspiration or ideals for decorating your room. Now, the reason why I'm using the non-traditional colors are because my living room is decorated already with the golds and the whites and the blacks and the silver. And I did not want the traditional colors to clash with that. I want everything to blend in, okay? I wanted to use those non, um, what do you call them? Just the, the non um, colors that's neutral. That's the word, neutral, okay? So guys, if you want to see how I turn this into this, just keep on watching. Guys, so I'm going to start with this first garland right here. And I got all of my garland from Joanne Fabric a couple weeks ago. And they were on sale. They were half off. And this is a Fashion Rose. I'm going to butcher this name of y'all. Rancha Coolas. Okay. It was $29.99. And it was half off. So I got this for $14.99. And I'm going to just go on and stick this one on here first. Now, guys, I had, I am doing this over because I didn't film it when I first um, decorated it. And I didn't know that I wanted to film it. So, I said, you know what, I'm going to go on and redo it over and film it for you guys so you could see how I put this together. Now, this one here, this one is the green green white vine and it was $24.99 originally half off it was $12.49 yeah $12.49 and I love this one because of these little uh, green velvet pumpkin all of these are velvet and then it has the cream uh, pumpkins as well and then it also has the greenery and this is just the leaf that's caught up in there but we're going to stick that in there too and so what, and the reason why I'm using this green is because I'll show you that probably at the end of the video. I have green also going with my colors in here. So when I saw this one, I was like, oh, wow, this would be perfect for my accent of green that I have in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to like intertwine it like so, so it won't look so... Like I just, you know, just lined them all up together. Okay, now the last one that I got was this one, which really caught my eye right here. And I thought this was just so pretty. And I never seen a branch like this before, a garland rather like this before. So I was like, I have to add that in somehow. And this one is called the Cream Grass, the Fall Autumn Cream Grass, and it was $16.99, and I got that for $8.49. So, I thought this was so pretty. So, I'm going to, I mostly want this in the front. I'm going to turn it around this way. I think I want it this way. Yeah, that looks better. Okay, if I can get it up here. But I'm just going to try to like stick it like so. Now I know I'll probably never get these back like I had them the first time. But I'm going to try. I'm going to try this for you guys. Okay. And sometimes you just have to play around with the look of it. And here as you can see I bent the ends there so you really can't tell how that looks. Okay, I'm going to bend this one as well. Okay. 
All right, um, I think I'm liking that. I'll probably still be straightening it out as we go. But I want to try to hide the branch parts. And as you can see, this sheds a lot too. This cream, whatever these are, they're coming off. So, it's just a little fallout though. Push that back just a little bit. This one will come more to the front. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put my pumpkin in the middle and build around it. Now, my pumpkin here came from Joanne Fabrics. I don't know if you could see that. Come from Joanne Fabrics and it says, give thanks, happy Thanksgiving, and it was $16.99. And it is a velvet pumpkin with the gems all on it. And I thought this was just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. So I'm going to stick this in the middle because that's the main attraction. I'm going to turn the card to the back. Let it sit up in the middle. Okay. Now I'm just going to build everything around it. Okay, so I have these two aisles here. And these are from Walmart. And they are actually coin banks. And but I saw them and I thought they were so pretty. I got only one last year. And I went back this year and found another one. So I said I'm going to use this in my design. So yeah, see, you can see the back where you put the coins at. Okay, so I want to stick them in the back. But yeah, I'll stick them on the back. Um, let's see. Also, I want to take these arrangements that I have here. Let's stick this one in too. This arrangement that I have here that I've used on my tablescapes, I'm going to stick those in too because they are the non-traditional colors as well. And they kind of go with this first one that I showed you. So I'm going to stick that over there. And also I have another one. And I'm going to stick that one in on the other side. Like so. Okay, I think that's coming together so beautifully already. Okay, um, let's go for these pumpkins. These pumpkins are a DIY from last year, and I did them in the non-traditional colors, the creams and the brown, and this will go perfect with this. And I'm just going to stick them on the ends next to my floor arrangement. Like that. Okay. Now I'm just going to build up some more. I just have this little gold um, glittered leaf here just to help fill in some spots. Just put that in. And these are some fallouts from it. I'm just going to stick those in just randomly where I see empty spots. Okay, guys, so next I have these brown ceramic pumpkins, and these are from the Dollar Tree, and I picked them up this year, and I think I want those sitting in the front, all right, like opposite, and I want my pumpkin, like it's a little crooked here, I want my green ones to be showing. Okay, let's move on. Um, next, I'm going to stick some of these Dollar Tree leaves in here that I have from last year. And these are some, this was a DIY, and I'm just going to stick those in just to fill up some of the space so we won't see the white fireplace so much. 
stick them in randomly. Okay, I'm liking that. Now, I think I'll put this one here. Just have them peeping out. Okay. And some more pumpkins. I have this DIY Blessed Pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. And I have this copper one also from the Dollar Tree. And I think I'm just going to stick this in here somewhere. Amongst the other pumpkins. And I think I want my white one to go on my leaf. We'll put that there. Actually, we'll set it right there. Okay. Next, guys, I have these flower gem candle holders right here. They're actually tea light holders, but I stuck some uh, white candles in here and they are glass candles and I'm going to stick them right next to my pumpkin like so on either side like that there we go guys I think I almost got it back like I had it the first time I am amazed that I'm doing that okay guys so as you can see my aisles back there are kind of hiding, and I want to raise my aisles up. So what I did was I took some little glass candle holder jars that were empty, and I washed them out, cleaned them out. And I took some of the Bath & Body Works tops, and I just glued them with some hot glue to the glass to make me some risers. And that's what I'm going to use to put my aisles up a little bit higher so you can see them. Whoop. There we go. Don't fall over, Mr. Owl. Okay, so there we go. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. What you thinking, guys? Is that looking kind of decent? Okay, so now I have the string lights from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to weave in and out in here to put a little light on the situation. And I'm just going to hide my battery pack back here. And I'm going to turn them on so I can see how I want it going across the pumpkin. Yeah, I think that's cute. There. I think that's real pretty. What do you think, guys? I think I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, guys, just hold on, and I will come back and show you what it all looks like. So guys, this is the green decor that I was telling you about, that those pumpkins, um, garland goes just beautifully with, and that's why I wanted the green garland.
So guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Share and comment, guys. I hope that you enjoy decorating with me because I truly enjoy decorating with you.